everyone, my name is Katie Green and I currently live in Amsterdam. Today I would like to talk about Museum Plain. The area got the name because of the museums located around the square and therefore also referred to as Museum Quarter or Museum District. Situated close to the busy city centre, the Museum Plain is where all tourists in Amsterdam converge. It's part of the Oud Zou district, one of the city's most prestigious central neighborhoods, home to high-end shopping, the city's biggest park and some of its best restaurants. You can easily get to Museum Plain by bus, bike, tram or metro regularly about every 10 minutes. The square plays an important recreational function within the city. Due to the presence of large and smaller grass areas, a pond and other recreational options, the square has almost a park-like feel and appearance. All kinds of events are organized here. Amsterdam is brimming with all kinds of art, and you can see a lot of the city's best all in one district. Here you will find three of Amsterdam's best museums. There is the Rijksmuseum, a Dutch national museum dedicated to arts and history that has thousands of pieces by some of the greatest names in Western art, like Rembrandt and Vermeer. The museum is open every single day for visitors and there is always something going on. The museum has on display 8,000 objects of art and history from their total collection of 1 million objects from the years 1200 to 2000. The entrance is paid and they have visit guides in many languages, available for free through an app in your mobile phone. You can go through the majestic entrance of the Rijksmuseum by bike or just walk the passage while enjoying live classical music.
There is also the Stead Lake Museum, the Van Gogh Museum and the Concertgebouw on Museum Plain. The Van Gogh Museum is an absolute must-do among the things to do in Amsterdam. A recent study carried out by the Erasmus University in Rotterdam of the reputation of the 18 best-known art museums in the world found that the Van Gogh Museum has the second best reputation in the world. It has most pieces of Van Gogh's art you will ever find in one place. Then you will understand why Van Gogh and so many local artists got so inspired by the fields, sunsets and landscapes of this beautiful country. The Stedelijk Museum delivers the best of Amsterdam's modern and contemporary art, with work from local as well as world-famous artists like Picasso and Warhol. The Moko Museum is a private museum dedicated to exhibiting modern and contemporary art such as Banksy, Lichtenstein, Daniel Arsham and Yayoi Kusama. Take a break between museums with a visit to the beautiful park. During winter, the pond can be transformed into an artificial ice skating area. You can also get some coffee and food from the local shops located next to the park. Everything in the city centre is quite close, so you can get everywhere walking or you can also rent a bike for a day and enjoy cycling in the park. If you are into classical music, Museum Plain is also where the Concert Hall Concert Hebau is located. This is where you can hear the Royal Concert Hebau Orchestra play, but make sure to get tickets ahead of time. No matter what kind of art you're interested in, you can't go wrong in the museum plane. And if you're lucky, you will enjoy one of the most beautiful sunsets that the Netherlands has to offer. With over 10 million annual visitors, the museum plane is the biggest and most visited part of Amsterdam, and also in the Netherlands. of land with its lovely atmosphere has made it the most popular square in the Netherlands and an ideal place for both Amsterdam residents and visitors to go for leisure time activities like picnics and summertime football. If you are in Amsterdam, I highly recommend to check out Museum Plain and visit for yourself. There is so much to visit and you will have a unique experience combining nature, a big outdoor open space, culture, art and of course, coffee.